If I asked you to list five things that make you want to rejoice, could you answer that question quickly? To live is Christ, to die is gain. G'day everyone, Brian here. When we work together, we achieve together. When we achieve together, we celebrate together. And when we celebrate together, we can rejoice together. Later on in this little book of Philippians, Paul will write some words that have been inspirational ever since they were written. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. And there he's giving the proper object of our joy. Rejoice in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Before we get there, though that's good to keep in mind that that's the the goal, to live is Christ, to die is gain. That's our goal. Before we get there, Paul is recognising the relationships that exist within this church in Philippi, of which he has been a part, even though he is absent from them now. And he calls them to rejoice. He's been encouraging them to be humble. He's been encouraging them to do everything without complaining or arguing. He's encouraged them to be pure and blameless, to be children of God without fault in a crooked and depraved generation, to hold out the word of life, to shine like stars in the universe as they do so. His desire is that he will have reason to celebrate with them, to rejoice with them, even to be able to boast about them when time is finished. But until then, he says this in verse 18, of Philippians chapter 2. So you too should be glad and rejoice with me. When we work together, we can achieve together. When we achieve together, we can celebrate together. That's a football team. Uh, that's any kind of team that, that that happens in. And when we celebrate together, we rejoice together. Here Paul is able to encourage his friends to look where they are right now and to encourage them to uh, enjoy what they're doing and press on, holding out the word of life, and to do that in a way that brings joy. Joy to themselves, joy to each other, and certainly joy to Paul as he pours himself out uh, for these people. And why? So that they can ultimately Rejoice, not in themselves, but in the Lord. Who is the Lord? His name is Jesus. Next week, I'm going to spend five days on the five key words of Christmas. Five key things that help us at Christmas time. I hope you'll come with me in that journey and see why we can rejoice in the Lord always and why we can do that together. Have a great day today. I'll see you next week.